Today I'm talking about estrogen dominance and low thyroid function. Now we're talking about balancing women's hormones. It's important that we have a balance between all of these different endocrine systems. So thyroid hormone is required to help our liver to detoxify excess estrogen. So if our thyroid function is compromised, then maybe that detoxification process of that estrogen will not happen effectively or efficiently enough. And then this can block the excess excess estrogen that you may already have in your body. So estrogen can then continue to rise while your thyroid hormone is decreasing and this is creating that vicious cycle. So really important to support your thyroid hormone, but also to find that balance with your estrogen levels. Too much estrogen will bind that thyroid hormone and then you can have those symptoms of low thyroid. So typically night sweats, which is really interesting because a lot of women and doctors will think that the night sweats are only related to that estrogen and progesterone issue, especially around perimenopause, but often it's related directly to the thyroid function, weight gain as well, hair loss, depression and low mood, even low energy are common symptoms and signs of that low thyroid gland functioning and this can be related, but the good news is, of course, that we can find that balance for these hormones. So one of my best tips is, of course, to fix your leptin resistance. If you don't know what this is or how to do it, make sure you check out my other videos on fixing your leptin resistance. A big aspect is exercise as well to help to stimulate this balance and get that blood pumping through your thyroid gland and also supporting the thyroid gland with specific things that it needs. So things like iodine from a whole food source as well as forscoli, tyrosine, an important amino acid for your proper conversion and functioning of your thyroid hormone and ashwagandha, which is an adaptogenic herbal medicine, really great for your cortisol levels, that stress as it's related to your other hormones, and that leptin signaling. So today I talked all about women's hormones and estrogen dominance and how that's related to low thyroid function. I hope you've got some questions or comments about this video for me. Drop it in the comment section below. Maybe this is something that you've experienced. Very, very common in women to have this correlation between low thyroid and that estrogen dominance. Be sure to share this video with your friends and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.